Welcome to episode 24 of From A to Global Z. I'm your host, Dr. Bill Lord. In episode 23, I provided an overview of what occurs in our phase two North American Indigenous Music Project, which we are rolling out fall 2021. For this episode, I'm actually doing a gear comparison. I'll be comparing five very different styles of shock mounts. The idea for doing a comparison of shock mounts did not just drop from the heavens. The Global Z Recording Project is currently launching an oral history project that has us setting up audio production gear in libraries across the state of Maryland. Library patrons may use this gear to record their personal stories of how COVID has impacted their lives. As part of this project, we are using several mics that, when we purchased them, did not ship with factory shock mounts, and as such, we needed to provide third-party shock mounts to do the job. For this episode, we let five very different shock mounts go head-to-head -to, -head to determine who is the champion of one unwanted taps, thumps, rumbles, and bumps. But before we explore the world of shock mounts, it's... Mic Talk Time. Today's Mic Talk Time features the Lewitt LCT 440 Pure. Lewitt is a highly respected company out of Austria, and the 440 is a classy looking cardioid condenser microphone. It is considered to be a workhorse mic, and it delivers excellent detail. There are no doodads on the mic itself, but it ships with a dedicated shock mount, a leatherette bag, a cool magnetized pop filter, and a clown nose windscreen. This is a really lovely mic, and although it is a bit more pricey than many of our mics that we use in our, our uh, locker, it has a street price of around $280. There's a ton of love for this mic in the audio, audio production world. Once you've had a chance to give it a listen, I think you'll begin to understand why. Now on with our show. If you know anything about us, you've heard me state numerous times we always try to make our grant and donor money stretch as far as it possibly can, and this means we're always on the lookout for a best bang for the buck equipment. So while I could have ordered a handful of high-end universal shock mounts at 80 bucks a pop, I opted to pick up and test several less expensive options in an attempt to make our dollars go a little bit further. Finding more affordable diamonds in the rough is good news for us, our donors, and provides a public service for others who may be on the lookout for affordable recording solutions. As our test mic, I'm using the Aventone Pro CK6 Classic. And one reason I chose this mic is it has a reputation for being prone to picking up unwanted bell-like tones when the body is tapped. I'm running the CK6 into a Solid State Logic SSL2+, and for simplicity's sake, we'll record into Audacity. For this head-to-head -head analysis, we will listen to the following. A clothespin style spring clamp mic with rubber pads that I borrowed from my CAD U29 USB mic, and these go for less than $10 an Aventone factory shock mount made specifically for the CK6, and you can find similar shock mounts uh, for about 25 to 30 bucks. The new Gator Frameworks Deluxe Universal Shock Mount. This is our most expensive unit, selling for about 60 bucks. A Wintech SM6 Spider style shock mount, and those can be had for around $35. And the Mic Top Universal Shock Mount I bought through Amazon that ships with a pop filter for about 30 bucks. I'll attach each shock mount to a metal on stage quick release desktop mic stand sitting on a desk. As part of this exercise, I'll test each shock mount's ability to reject unwanted thumps and bumps noise by tapping four sections of the mic mount chain the desktop, the mic stand's metal base the mic stand shaft, and the base of the shock mount. To try and ensure as much consistency as possible, I'll be thumping each component with the rubber-like side of the finger holes on these heavy-duty Stanley scissors. So let's see how this plays out. First up, the clothespin style mic holder. Next up, the Aventone factory shock mount designed for the CK6.
Next, the Gator Frameworks Universal Mount. Now the Wintech SM6 Spider Style Shock Mount. Finally, the $30 mic top universal shock mount that seems to be a direct imitation of the Rycote Envision universal shock mount, a highly regarded studio accessory that sells for around $80 a pop. So this head-to-head -head comparison is telling for several reasons. Some shock mount designs do a better job of rejecting certain frequencies than others. One shock mount may tend to excel at rejecting lower frequencies while letting upper frequencies in, while another shock mount may excel at rejecting mid-frequencies but let lower frequencies in. It's safe to say that, not surprisingly, the generic clothespin style spring clip performed the worst. The big question is, do you think one shock mount can claim the title of overall champion? Does one tend to do a better job of reducing unwanted thumps and bumps than the others? Now, keep in mind this is strictly a comparison of how the CK6 responded to these particular shock mounts. Other microphones have their own characteristics and use unique build materials, and as such, each mic will respond differently. In addition, we're only conducting a test by thumping surfaces with the Stanley scissors, and the levels of sensitivities and frequencies mics record will also vary when bumped by different objects, such as wayward fingers, excitable clapping hands, unexpected encounters with unexpected objects, headphones, and the like. To me, other than the clothespin style clip, the results of this comparison were a bit surprising and I definitely have my favorites as a result, but I'd love to hear your thoughts. Feel free to express your opinion in the comment section below. As I'm producing this video, Global Z is rolling out our two biggest projects for the year. As such, for episode 25, I haven't got a clue what we'll cover, but rather than commit to a topic now, I'm going to just play it by ear. Until then, if you're viewing this and COVID is still making its rounds, please be careful. Be kind and understanding of others. So this episode's a wrap. Thanks for checking out this comparison. I hope you found it informative. I know I did. Wishing you peace through music. I'm Bill Lord.